telling us a story before to uh, achieve the kind of social awareness and positive change that we're all seeking. Dig it, man. That If there's a common thread, that's it. I mean, that is it. And that's that's kind of too... So, okay. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Satori D. We're going to get started with, with the show. And what I want to talk about, too, is this buzz, this new buzz that we have with Minds. And it's a collective effort. Um, what I'm doing with the Minds panel show, with the, the, the whole gaming uh, community that's going on, um, the new groups, and there's... Uh, and then the Imaginarium, uh, 24 Imaginarium, and there's probably even stuff that I, I am not even aware of. But there's this sense of that we need to start working together, working as a community, working as a collective to produce original content, um, awareness, um, share information, and this really open source decentralized attitude. And it's been amazing how much input we have had, and I guess, um, John, uh, you want to f uh, fill in with uh, your little project of your, your uh, collecting the, the mines uh, light bulb art? <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, there's a bit of an echo. Do you, is the audio okay? Yeah, I hear you pretty good. Yeah, sounds good here. Wow, I'm literally getting an enormous echo. Hold on one second. Yeah, no problem. But yeah, I mean, um, you want to go into yeah, but... your Sorry. your little your um, uh, your video response and kind of just maybe express that a little bit more for the show. Pouts. Um. On uh, which point the uh? On which point? Just about. Just about um. Because right now we're broadcasting, so I, I guess what we were talking about before we started broadcasting about the culture of minds and what you have seen about us, kind of like the different people that it gra gravitates to it. To it. Oh, okay. So um, I, like probably most other minds users, are you know from the uh, fascist book uh, originally, and I had seen a post about minds. And uh, I knew that my time was limited on fascist book anyway because uh, they had implemented the real ID policy and I strictly wasn't going to comply. You know, they were, were going to require me to uh, send them a copy of uh, photo state issued identification and uh, other than some other issues uh, alongside that, I, I knew that my time was limited and... Uh, I'm deeply involved in what's known kind of loosely as the law movement. And I figured, well, maybe there's some like-minded individuals on this uh, new platform. So I transferred or I uh, started my page on Minds and uh, was able to quickly ascertain that it's more of a free form uh, collective of people that are interested in positive social change through uh, you know, uh, trying to disseminate useful information as opposed to pictures of what their dog is eating. Yeah, I, I remember the first time I, same thing as you, I saw an article on Facebook and I moved over to Minds. And so when I switched over, I said, oh, social networking. And I thought I still had in my mind like Facebook, but I wanted to, ch I didn't want to use my real name. I, I and so, like, I, I use Satori D as something that I, like, when I do my poems or do some other stuff that I kind of was playing around with that name. And I kind of have it as my some pseudonym. of my, yeah, as my pseudonym and things that I use for other uh, emails and stuff like that. And so when I started it, I was like, oh, I'm going to use Satori D because I like how it sounds. And it, it's into the whole thing that I've been, like, doing about, like, uh, you know, intro yeah introspective kind of stuff satori uh, means sudden enlightenment and it's something i read in a jack kerouac book and i just liked how it sound and d is for my first name daniel and um so when i started i actually had a picture of myself as as my icon and then 
soon enough, I found out that it was totally different landscape than what I was expecting or even had in my mind. And I loved it. Like, I remember that one of the first phrases that, that I gravitated to, well, there's two of them. One was that ideas are networks. Hey, what's up, John? Back. Hey, I'm back. Sorry, man. Yeah, no problem. So the we were just talking about our first experience on mines. So <laughs> one of the one of the, the the things that caught my eye was this. I think it was a meme at first, but anyways, it was ideas are networks. I was like, oh man, that's really awesome. That's and they had like, deep. yeah, and and then the other one was that um, weak minds discuss people. Average minds discuss events. Strong minds discuss ideas, and then I was like, "Oh man, that's like." Right, I recall that, and that was yeah, yeah. yeah that like just hit me. I was like, "Dude, that's exa- was exactly what you were saying about Facebook. It's all about oh, let me post a picture of me drinking this weekend. Oh, let me post a picture of my food. You know, <laughs> just like all these kind of like things that I got so tired so of." Bored. Yeah, well, you know, you know, you know. There's another, there's another place where some great minds art is um, on the minds f- Facebook page, uh, okay. which uh, you know everybody should go, you know, check out. Check it out. And yeah, there's that's not happening. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, you can just you can just download. Uh, but th- that's how we started. Is uh, kind of like uh, that kind of art on a Facebook page, like way back when. And um, the Facebook page got pretty big, but but now uh, the art that people are creating, and you you mentioned a lot of the artists, uh, it's um, it's so cool to see it just happen every day. It's just awesome. So I, I figured, so I have this wonderful album on my on my uh, channel page, and I hope uh, anyone will come visit and check it out. All the light bulbs. Yours is on there, Daniel. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you. But yeah, um, one of our first guests that we had on was Wasted Talent. And, um, you know, he came back at the same time that we were doing this whole Minds panel. And we're like, oh, man, we need Wasted Talent. Because, like, I re- he had to go leave for a little bit. But um, his stuff kind of, like, always inspired all of us to get, like, Doing stuff. <laughs> yeah, that was the first artist that I started seeing uh, put out the mines art, the light bulb art, and was uh, doing the tagging or what have you. Well, he 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 took it he took it to a whole new level. But I mean, there's it's been people the messing brain. around with the light bulbs for a while, and um, of course, the tagging he did was unbelievable. Uh, I hope he's uh, hope he's doing well wherever he is. I just don't- yeah, he's doing good. Uh, and then it was so funny because at the same time, they started doing the, um, what is it called, landmines, where they had the little stickers and they had the QRR codes and they were doing the tagging. That it was the same time that um, me and Jaffe were starting uh, Pirate Radio. And so they, they they just gravitated to my little pirate, uh, uh, my little mines pirate guy. And then they they approved on it, you know. They they emphasized the light bulb on him, and then we put mines, and then we put the QRR code. They made stickers and started posting it everywhere, and it was just like this funny, cool collaboration. Like it went back and forth. Yeah, a lot of energy. Yeah, like every time they did something, then I then I had to like one up them and like you know do something else. Like okay, I'm gonna do this, do this. But that's I think this is where we're at right now like we we like uh with that i mean i did it kind of uh not passively but we didn't do it in in coordination with each other but now i see there's uh multi people of uh, channels that are popping up um there's there's what we're doing here with mine's um panel there's stuff that's i know that's going on with the the gaming community and there's stuff that's going on with uh, 24 Imaginarium, which we're going to have on soon. Um, we still have to work out our schedules. because, And that's another interesting thing, too, is that uh, this is why we're trying to be really flexible with our show. Because we have so many different great minds, but they're all around the world. Like uh, the first time we did our show, we had to split it up in 
to two shows, one in the morning and one at night because we had to get uh, Boussard in there. He's from Germany. Uh, Half Faith is in the Netherlands. Boussard's from Germany. I had I thought he, I thought Canada. Wow, that's funny. No, yeah, <laughs> he, he's from Germany. Yeah. So th- to get him in to talk about comment uh, comment culture, we had to do it uh, early in the morning. So we got him in there, and uh, he's. I, I mean, he's one of the first people that I talked to on Minds, and uh, he reached out to me, and then we just started kind of uh, back and forth whenever. Like, it was so funny because at first I didn't really know, but it was like early in the morning he'll give me a response, and then like later on in the day I'll give him a response, and we kept on going like back and forth, back and forth about different features or whatever we were talking about. And um, so I'm glad he's a part of the Minds panel. And what he's starting too is this is where it's the cool thing about the Minds panel. We we're t- kind of discussing this earlier. I guess I'll bring it up now. Is that we? It's podcast style, but more of a discussion. But every Sunday we're going to have a focus. Um, next week is uh, Bitcoin, and um, and but all through the week we're planning for the show. So we have meetings, and then due to anybody's enthusiasm or idea, they could pop up and do a panel show themselves. Like for instance, Boussard, I think he's going to do one today. I don't, I don't know. I haven't seen him post anything in group. But last Wednesday, he wants to do kind of like a book club panel. But since it's small right now, he's reading this book called We. And um, so what, what, what we did is we got, we got in the room. We just kind of like talked in the beginning, and then Boussard's like, "Okay, I'm ready to start my show." And we're like, "Okay." And then he started reading the first two chapters of We, and we just kind of like sat down and we listened to him, listened to him read the right, book. Back. Oh, you're back. Okay, cool. Yeah, you back. Real bad reception here. It's like a talking yeah. book. Yeah, and so he was he was he was reading the the book, and we were just sitting down uh, listening to him. And then after he was done, so he had, and he had, he posted up um, the first two chapters on on his site. And I still have to work, and um, I'm going to edit it to make it pretty nice. But what I was thinking is later, when we get more people involved, and it doesn't even have to we animate the whole thing, but say we get five different background scenes, and then with with Corey and me, and maybe even some other people that like to mess with images, just make the backgrounds look like they're moving. Like, you know, we make it, like, wavy, or, we, or kind of like a... You remember this was quite a while back, but uh, uh, the Starry Night and where it had like the where it was waving and it looked like it was like um, the image was waving in in water. So little things right. like that to give next, like next next generation cable news. <laughs> yeah, and so we 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 want and that would like go a long ways. And we're thinking we're we're already thinking of all sorts of little things that we could do that could go a long ways. I think like there's once, probably like some good templates. Um, oh, okay. That like uh, you know like if you look at you know uh, cable news, yeah, uh-huh. they got all kinds of tapes running across the, the bottom, bottom or on the side but, and all that kind yeah. of stuff. Uh, you know, I mean, if you guys, you know, come up with something, I mean, I think we would love to support that kind of stuff. Yeah. So that so that your your channel, you know, if you go to CNBC, for instance, you know, you always know that format or Bloomberg, you know, it's you know, you got the stock okay. tickers and all that. Mm-hmm. Thing. You know, and and you know, there's probably some format mm-hmm. like that for social that for minds. Yeah. yeah. That would be. And that- Cool. You know, it's like, you know, users who are online, you know, trending. Uh, I'm sorry. That's all right. So if you guys, if you guys, uh, you know, have the energy, you know, we're happy to help you out if we can in that technical side. Oh, technical in the respect to help out with that kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah, and this is part of our project as well, and this is where... The most interesting part of our talk with Bill yesterday was when we went into um, the panel discussion, into a period, and we were kind of, uh, and this is where Gov Spiders kind of took took up most of the, the discussion, but we want to have this open discussion between us, between uh, us, and not only just us, the panel show, but us as the Minds community, and you guys are a part of the Minds community, but also to, you know, 
your side of the development. And um, Bill came said to, told us, you know, you know, instead of uh, like it would be nice if you guys could start getting uh, uh, not only just requesting the features, but also kind of loosely like designing them. And we're like, oh, we're kind of doing that, but like it's good to hear like a Fisher like, oh, that's it. And then I, I know Gov Spiders was all fired up. He was like, oh man, like I remember after the meeting, after the, that point. Like all, well, all it's, kind of, it's kind of yeah. happening. I mean, like yeah. the new groups. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, all Great. of the key functional uh, capabilities there were pretty heavily uh, wrung out in different comment threads, but you know, a lot uh -huh. in the bug group um, or the support group. But um, you know, it's 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 really a good thing for us to uh, vet out these designs with with yeah. the user community um, and then you guys have been so helpful there was a you know some key pieces we missed on groups which we were able to fix quickly you know because of all the feedback you know so I feel like you know it's a very collaborative process I hope you guys do as well um, yeah you know we try to listen to what what things you guys are asking for and, and get them delivered like everyone when we first launched uh, you know, there was a lot of trolling, and it was, you know, mines, mines. You had to have your deflector. She had to be pretty tough user, and we didn't have the um, controls, you know, countermeasures uh, for a channel to defend itself. And um, you know, so the block came about, and and we did some other things to strengthen uh, a channel's position against that. And you know, it was all user feedback. It's just the experience of the alpha and the beta users, and um, and then there's groups of users that take it to the whole ne next level and and really um, spend a lot of time with us, and we're really grateful for that. Yeah, and that's that's where part of the show, like I said, the show's going to take on different forms, but one of the key aspects of the show is helping to broadcast. Uh, information a little bit better, and in, in a fun and stylized way. That, that's that I'm kind of developing with my own video editing, and hopefully everybody else kind of gets involved. And we'll, like we were saying with the artists, but also to to help streamline things a little bit. Like for instance, a, a big part of uh, what we do with the Minds Panel Show is not only just produce these shows, but we have a git book where we where, where we have a lot of different ideas just for questions but also to Gov Spiders, me, Sofuego, um, I know Bussard even though he's been busy and we're really um, are in our discussions we have these great discussions about features but not just like oh we wish we had this but like how would they work and then what is like the implications of that like oh and like for instance um, and I kind of uh, mentioned this to to House that um, we we were talking about uh, the point system, and this is where one of the segments we have is called uh, Minds Panel Ideas, and they're like little short, a minute to two minutes long, and it's like a good point that someone brings up, and we want to broadcast that out. And so like, uh, and then we talked to this with Bill about how how do we encourage people to kind of have real exchange and dialogue. But also to that sometimes and you know, people just just like to like to you know kind of like farm points and that there's like this give and take and I know early on me and Broussard we came up with a rough little scale and we're like saying like you know well uh, obviously a comment should co uh, count more than than a, um, a like yeah and this is where the comment culture discussions is always kind of coming to. Um, that or a remind would be more important, or right. uh, valued more than an upvote. Yeah, as well, and but also too, I think this is just recent. I think just yesterday you guys uh, added this is where you could remind and add a, a, a caption or, or or a comment to what, why you're like reminding it or why did you why yeah, did I was you remind excited it, which to see I think, that one. Yeah, I think that's great. And also, too, maybe even, too, as we go along, and this is where we're always going to have this discussion and um, about uh, – and I think Bill mentioned it, that you guys are going to come up with, like, somewhat of, like, a polling feature, which we could, like, 
kind of like gauge the community's like uh, 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 response to a particular post or video. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't want to get in ahead of Bill in terms of announcing stuff like that, but um, we did used to have a it was a real voting app, you know, not just a vote for a post, but it's an actual voting app, and and you okay. can you could create your own question, uh, you know, like do you think uh, Satori D for president? And uh, <laughs> yes, no, you know, uh, and, and and you send it around, and everyone votes on it. Okay. And um, we had that, and we tested it, um, and it works pretty good. But um, uh, and I think we're going to do something like that again. And it would be good to have it out this summer when, you know, all the voting issues are going to be feverish, and yeah, it, it would be cool to. Um, you know, know how the Minds community feels about, you know... Hopefully get some kind of a uh, momentum building from what's happening in the uh, so-called presidential race to engage people into that part of the Minds process, the voting of it. Yeah, and, and you know, like, what's, I think, the difference from Minds is that, you know, uh, it would all be open data, you know, mm -hmm. so so this wouldn't be, like, data that you know, we're selling or anything like that. It's, you know, it's all open data. So, um, and I think as Minds gets really large, uh, that that kind of data is going to be really important for society. You can't get that kind of data from social media companies today because they're not open source and, and uh, they don't, and the con and, and that data itself is not licensed open source, so it's proprietary data. So, um, I think that's well, going to be really interesting for us to release that kind of information. Yeah, I think that would be a really cool feature, and you know, and it and it can keep on evolving. And this is what we kind of are we're saying and dancing around. But this is where things are different on Minds, where there's things evolve according to this give and take between the community and the development team, and. Um, it's been a really interesting process, and me and a couple of the team were talking after Bill uh, left, and even yesterday, and we're we were saying that um, that it's going to be that when how, about how do we get other people, and I think now too that Minds is a little bit better, that it's a little bit easier to get, but you know. Um, at, Especially in the beginning, you're like, oh, you tell people your your casual friends, hey, come on, join on Minds, and they they come on there and they're like, oh, um, I don't mobile, get it. Yeah, the mobile app didn't work that well. Like, you know, all these kind of like little little things. Oh, it's hard to use. Oh, I don't know what to do. And then they 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 don't come back or they don't use their their, their profile. And then you're like, oh, you can't see. Like, okay, yeah, it's it, you know, it's not perfect. But you don't see the possibilities here, like, or well, you don't. You know, it's it's, it's yeah. like it's like you know, there's all these, there was a post just yesterday on Minds was talking about uh, people, you know, uh, the awakening process, yeah. and and it was it was talking about how, you know, you have to be ready to be awakened. You can't yeah. just you can't just like go up to somebody and tell them something and expect them to go with it, you know, yeah. if they're not ready for that. And it's the same thing with joining Minds in, in a sense. When you, you know, uh, most users out there on social media are not as sophisticated as the group that's on Minds now. I mean, the Minds users are these are. I think you guys are some of the more experienced internet users uh, on anywhere. And you know, most most people on Facebook, they're just people that aren't spending. They don't they don't understand the internet that well. And mm -hmm. so, you know, for them to, like, think of leaving Facebook when they haven't hardly even figured Facebook out yet, uh, yeah. you know, it's like we're, we're, we're saying we're better than Facebook, and they still haven't figured out why they even need Facebook. Yeah. And so it, it, it's, um, you know, there's an evolution thing here, and, and um, there's phases and cycles. I mean, f Facebook is, is – they are a single – one company, you know, the whole social world. It's one company. It's it's a monopoly, literally. Yeah. And um, and but uh, but.
but the world is 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 changing, and and I think we have a great opportunity to become a very significant counter uh, to to that Facebook monopoly. So yeah, because I found that when I was on Facebook, uh, other than a small group of people that I was interacting with in the fields of interest that I had. You know, even my family and regular friends, you know, it was basically like the goldfish culture where they would, you know, be scrolling through their news feed and oh, they'd thumb up that or maybe they'd post it to their own profile and then move on, you know, or they would more try to be uh, self-aggrandizing, like I was saying earlier, you know, a picture of their dog drinking wine or just you know, obscene things, you know, or like uh, Satori said, you know, the booty shot or what have yeah. you, as opposed to, you know, having a meaningful dialogue as to, hey, why don't we see who's in my local area and uh, see if we can meet up and, you know, volunteer in a project like cleaning up a highway or, you know, uh, feeding uh, the homeless at a shelter or any of those sort of things. Yeah, I think that's eventually where things on Minds are going to progress. And um, I think, too, as Minds starts growing and we start being more collaborative in, in our efforts, that we could start doing practical projects like that. And we could start helping each other. And I know early on there was the whole, um, I think it was a group, I forgot exactly what it was, but it was like a barter group. Um, Lee Travis had, uh, Travis Lee, I mean, had this one thing about um, uh, Lobby Voice, which was a great idea. Um, there's a lot of great ideas out there, and I think at the time, too, a lot of lot of us were a little bit ahead of, of our time, but I think, too, as, as we keep on putting our stuff out there, we keep on evolving our ideas through the, the, through the interaction with each other. And I and I want to go to this one little quick story about when I first was on Minds. I started this group, and I think I forgot exactly what I called it. I think I called it open source storytelling, or open source story. And it's like how we move from I to we. Mm -hmm. And what I wanted was people to write a personal story about them, about about themselves. Just a small little post, and and then like as you get along, you see this kind of like. And I'm always I was always on this thing about a mosaic of minds, a mosaic of different perspectives and how they all kind of fit together. And that's actually where I first met John. John commented on one of one of my stories of that where I shared a personal story. Uh, I believe it was uh, of uh, my grandma. And he was like, oh, this is really good. And I didn't know who John was at the time. And I'm just like, oh, cool. I get it like a response. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, feedback. Yeah, feedback. Is, it, oh. yeah. is that when we met? <laughs> yeah. And then it, but that's the thing too. At Facebook, everybody's kind of so passive with just the liking. And like, I would write stuff, and I would like send it to my friends, people that I actually like hang out with every day, and we talk. And they would just be like, "Oh, I'm just gonna like it." I was like, "Oh, I want, I want to talk about stuff and this and that." Like, uh, you know, then you when know, I went, it's yeah. a big, it's a big commitment. You, you, when you commit to a social network, I mean, you spend yeah. a lot. I, I, mine's users. I mean, the the. Um, you know, the metrics. Our minds, our minds users, they spend a lot of time all day on the site, and you know we have thousands of users daily that are parked there all day long, and um, and so like when you're when you're picking a social network, particularly if you're a hard u heavy user, uh, it's a big decision. It's like what car you're going to drive and that kind of thing, yeah. and um, you know where you're going to live in your house and and that stuff. So I think. Uh, you know, we have not really pushed registered register new user growth and things like that, mostly because you know you, you, we want the site to be really, really solid. Because mm -hmm. um, you know, as you pointed out earlier, you know, when you come over, you know, if you're if you're looking for you know things that like it's hard to use, it's like I, you know, it's gonna be I have to learn another thing. Versus if you're Going, oh my gosh! Look at the original art. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know it, it's it, it's a, your point of view when you first visit the site, and and when you get there, you want the site to, you know, really deliver technically, and yeah. you know we're we're most of the way there, but I think we're yeah. justifiably still in beta. Um, we still have to get 
major areas of the site fully up to beta level. Still, some are still like chat is still alpha. We're going to move yeah. that to beta four. We just we just brought groups forward to beta, so we've got to get the whole site like to the point where it's strong enough to absorb you know users coming in and looking around, kicking the tires, making sure they have a good experience. Um, I don't think you know we're quite there yet, and it, and we're sort of apprehensive to um, try to really grow until we think we have that confidence. That's why we took a whole year going through this alpha beta process yeah. um, to really know where 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 we need to improve the site, and I think it's come along pretty well. We still have we're still alpha on the whole mobile app is alpha, so. So we've got to get the mobile app up to beta, and you know, and a lot of progress uh, has already been made on the web app side, and so when all of that's in place, and I think you know probably sometime uh, uh, you know towards the summer, you'll see us get more aggressive with trying to grow new users and convert Facebook people over and. Um, we just have we haven't done it almost on purpose, and and the size of the site's pretty good right now for a beta. You know, we have a few million people on the site, and and that's a good number to be able to stress infrastructure, test infrastructure, see how much load certain environments you know require under stress and things, and mm -hmm. um, and uh, and so all of that. Is good, and you and, and what a community we have to help us. I I, rem I remember when the update first happened. Uh, I think it was like two days after. There was so much use that uh, it, it kind of like was glitchy that whole one day, and then we we're all like, "What's going on? Like it's freezing." Yeah. And we were no, it's a, it's it's no small task. Um, yeah. When you have like you know tens of thousands of thousands users of on a site and um, in some cases sometimes you know there's even more and, yeah. and and you're actually changing the code at the same time and it's got to all be transparent uh, yeah. it's not like you take it down and load a new, new re release it's yeah. on the fly upgrade um, and learning how to do that is an operational maneuver that that kind of stuff is what the alpha beta is all about um, oh. and we've you know the worst thing that could happen would be for us to you know, get everybody over here and then, you know, crash into a, a tree or something. <laughs> yeah. But it was so cool because, like, everybody, I mean, we just wanted to make sure that, you know, like, our, the, the, uh, we had, like, this communication because I remember that one day, like, everybody was in bugs, like, oh, and, like, we were, and this is one of the first things, too, that I, I did. And um, when I first started, and this is the type of people that we have here that, uh, we, sometimes we don't even, if we could answer the question, we don't wait for a necessary official response. We'll give an answer to it, to to each other. Like, oh, don't worry, that's just this. Or, oh, don't worry. Because I remember at one time, uh, I was kind of trolling the, the bugs and feature group, and when people were asking about certain simple questions, like, you know, like, oh, how do I sign off of uh, mines? You know, like, simple, like, technical support questions, I'll be like, oh, you do this. Oh, like, oh, don't worry, you need to kind of, like, refresh uh, Messenger to see your new messages. Like, that happens to everybody. Yeah, like, it's, yeah. it's like, you're not, don't worry, that's just just what you have to do. And then they'll be like, oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> but it's funny, because, like, that's yeah. That's, what were you that's gonna say? a good indicator of how the Minds uh, platform and the people involved in it you know, it shows that it's been growing organically as opposed to, you know, being fostered by uh, corporate interests and uh, people getting involved on a, at a base level, you know, the, indiv the individual user level to, uh, you know, propel this into something not only more user-friendly, but, you know, to uh, get relationships between people, you know, to happen more often. Well, I'm I'm really glad you said that because that's we're very aware of that, and um, you know it's not easy to to grow a social network. If it was easy, I mean there'd be a million of them, and there really aren't. And and so you know what, and we've purposefully not. I mean we, you know we're not like a big funded situation, you know with. 
uh, driving you know huge marketing budget recruitment of users and that's not happening at all um, and I think what we're seeing is that the people that are joining are becoming really dedicated users um, and I think that you know if we can maintain that and then ultimately do start doing some more professional recruiting of new users and growing the company from a marketing perspective you know we'll, we'll have a very solid base and we'll be able to grow very very quickly so um, growth really hasn't been it's not it's not our primary objective right now our primary objective right now is is really to create the finish the beta and and establish the platform and there's major functions that still you know we need to come out with um, and um, and when when we're really ready you know that's when we'll you know quote unquote go production and then we'll try to really push for users. Yeah, yeah and, and be sustainable it's it's um, uh, there the the graveyard is just littered with social media companies that you know kind of went up like a bottle rocket and then right back down to earth again and we're not we're, we're not going to fall into that I mean we've we've had consistent steady growth 10 to 15 percent every month since day one and you know it's not hasn't been that we have we've had some viral uh, ridiculous viral spikes like when we launched our mobile app mm -hmm. um, but um, but to just you know be able to sustain that growth with absolutely no press, no marketing at all. I mean, we don't even have a marketing person, budget, nothing. Uh, the only marketing we have is you. You guys are like the marketing. Uh, yeah. You know, it's it's, it's all uh, user generated content. I mean, it's fantastic, and that's really organic. And um, and I think if we can prove that that group can be successful with Minds. Um, then we're really going to be in a great position to to start to expand it. We have to get other things like international language support out, which we're okay. working on, you know, and some things like that. That before you want to go out and crow to everybody, come on over. Uh, you know, you want to be ready for the French people to speak French. And you know, there's well, that actually happened um, last month. Some guy. Uh, Twitter lit up about mines in France, and and all of a sudden, all these French, you probably noticed a lot of French users. Uh -huh. Even a couple uh, of Germans. Yeah, a lot of Europeans, uh, but in particular France, French. and um, and you know, and and so they all are really looking forward to being able to have French-speaking mines, and you know, the, of course, people in Spanish-speaking countries want Spanish, and and right now we're we're doing really well in North America on on our on our rankings and whatnot um, uh, and if we can do as well in non-english speaking countries we could grow just really fast really easily just that way um, so again it's 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 a good foundation to start from yeah and um, this is kind of something too that we we have a bunch of different talks. But uh, what we were talking about is it's interesting, and this is the whole thing about minds is that um, so we were talking about and us as a community to to maybe help uh, support some of those uh, first time um, uh, uh, professional users, because I know like Douglas Rushkoff has a page, but he hasn't really updated it. Uh, I know Daniel Pinchback has a page, but he doesn't really use it. And then we're talking about it, and I'm like, yeah, because like, Minds is a little different than other uh, social networking sites, because like, it's an even playing field. It's like it's like a free-for-all in the news feed, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you just kind of go up there, and like, it's, it's, it's the, the whole emphasis is like the more you use it the more points you get so you can reach more people and it's it's and yes you can buy points but it's not really a, a, a as it is stands right now a, a, a pay to play kind of place where you know the more established people have more more uh, standing in the it's like we're all like on a, well I mean we're hoping it'll be a get paid to play uh, yeah yeah uh, Environment. I mean, that's that's what Boost Pro, Boost Pro is about. Yeah. Is about, and um, 
you know, right now we're we're really wiring the infrastructure of doing transactions between channels, and yeah. um, and that's that's like really fundamental so that two channels can can transact business. Yeah. Um, and and if you create like like if the mines panel becomes you know uh, you know let's say you're doing you know twenty thousand thirty thousand views a day you know uh -huh. that, that that's you're, you're competing with MSNBC's numbers. <laughs> oh, that's a good well, mark. I I didn't know that. <laughs> I, 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 literally, I mean, I, what is MSNBC? <laughs> how many people watch that news broadcast? You know, one of their one of their sure. yeah. One of their shows, the people you know. I mean, maybe their top show at eight o'clock is higher, but if you just took a regular MSNBC show, uh -huh. you know, and, you know you, I think you know you're you're probably already competing with them in terms of you know the no amount of viewers that you can have, and so you know maybe you know as it as it gets really big on if you on Facebook you you'd be syndicating yourself right now. Yeah. And and so that's what. We're trying to build the get foundation for, so it's get, it's more like get paid to play. Yeah. Um, and if you can build a big network, uh, uh, people should be willing to. Uh, uh, if you have a co if a commercial interest, should be should be willing to pay you for access to that network. And we already and, and, and for your and for your endorsement, your personal endorsement. And I like too that you know. Uh, well, it, just real quick, me and anonymity. Anonymity was uh, testing out that that feature because he he sent me a dollar so I could uh, post something on my site, but just to test it out, just to see how it, how it works. And uh, so well, there are there's there's pages on Facebook that charge for every post. Yeah. What? And the, I guess yeah. I've been gone. Long if I didn't know that. No, it's true. Yeah. There's an underground economy at Facebook where, where pages charge under the table, so to speak, for a post, because they're big, they're big channels, and and they can drive reach. And you click on the post, and someone goes to the website that you wanted them to go to. That's reach. That's social reach, and people are paying for it. And and so you know. Everyone has, as you said, Daniel, an even opportunity to create yeah. that reach. It is kind of a great equalizer. And and this is the the thing, and we talk about this too, I, mostly with Jaffe. It's kind of like, uh, and it should be like this everywhere, but it's not because it's not an equal playing field, but you should get uh, out of it what you put in. So the more you, you develop your original content, the more you develop your relationships. And this is already what we're getting out of out of minds at a very organic level. I mean, I've been I've been blown away with how and I think it took me a while to start the Minds panel uh, show, but that I go out and because I have these relationships with people and I and I said, Hey, let's let's do Let's let's get, let's do the show. And I had people uh, like So Fuego and Gov Spiders and Have Faith and Broussard and all these people that said, "Oh, you're gonna do this? I'm in. Let's let's get it done." Yeah, and immediately excited. Yeah, immediately there's a buzz, and I'm like, "Oh, this is cool." And then like everybody, and then the more we put out the stuff, the more people are getting involved. And this is really where I think. Um, Kind of our our um, ethics with the Minds Panel Show, it, it's for everybody. Like like I said, I have this tagline that's a mosaic of minds. It's it's and then I'm also too just because right now I'm playing the role of the leader of the Minds Panel, because I guess uh, I, I see a little bit more of wh what what's possible with this. But as we as a, the Minds Panel uh, show and uh, we are we are creating little. Uh, helpful tools for people to get involved easily. Um, like we have our Git book. Um, we, we have the group now, which has been amazing. I remember our first show is just before the, the update. I think it was the day before the update. We were like, man, all this stuff would be a lot easier if we had a had better group. 
And then, so we had a whole kind of like just a meeting about us to be like, oh, yeah, the possibilities. And then we woke up the next day and I'm like, oh, shoot, I saw the post by Bill. Group's been updated. And I, and I told him. <laughs> I told uh I told Broussard let's go take the groups for a test run and then our group's been good I, I mean we it's been almost all the shows since then have been planned from 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 our group I mean I'm constantly I put up show notes from the interview with Bill um, links um, I've been posting those little mind panel ideas so we can start discussions and we in the next phase and it's already helping and uh. House of a uh, 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 gangster is uh, helping us was heading that like you did the video response and that's like something where I really want for people because now we have that feature in in comments where you can put a video response so now that's what I want to develop with the other segment is called mosaic of minds and where it's just like a, a mismatch of, of video responses. And um, I think those are really interesting, and everybody seems to like those as well. And yeah, you know, I'm really, yeah. excited, I'm really excited to hear you say that because um, I really agree with you on that. And you know, there's there's kind of an emerging model mm -hmm. in 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 business, which is sort of a work group computing model, and um, and it, and it, and there's a lot of apps that have emerged, um, you know. You know, you on one hand you've got Slack, and on mm -hmm. the other hand you've got, um, you know, sort of social business applications. And there's, you know, there's what what it's really doing is it's changing the way work groups kind of operate. And the whole groups uh, release, which um, again you guys input and requirements were heavily part of it. Um, I think it's really pretty successful to accommodate exactly what you're talking about doing. You, know, you get a, a bunch of people want to want to create some sort of work group uh, result, and to be able to, we've got a next generation of comments coming out, which are more real time comments, uh, uh -huh. and uh, you know the rich embeds in the comments, so you can start with a post and you can have this dialogue going with this group, you know that keeps updating. You're getting notifications, uh, you know as 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 developments happen uh, on the tasks or or whatever event or whatever it is that you're working on there, and and you know it is sort of a new work group model uh, using groups, uh, and um, you know that I think could be one of the biggest dimensions of minds. Yeah, I I mean that's that's one of the things that I'm most excited about minds is that. Like I said, there's, I mean, we had it before, but it was, and everything, like we were saying, it takes time to develop organically, and um, and it takes people kind of having a little bit of forward thinking. Yeah, it's just because it's, yeah, it's, some it's a different way of working together, you know, it's like I'm older than you guys, so I've seen more of these um, evolutions, but, um, you know, I, I you know, there was Novell Networks at one point, you know, and uh -huh. and now what you have are these really tightly integrated um, systems like commenting on a post and having a notification fired every time something happens, which stimulates everybody else to get back involved again uh, onto, you know, what that work group is all about. And it's a real productivity um, model for work groups. It's It's very... Good productivity, and um, uh, the way you're using it is a perfect example. Um, so and, uh, we we need of, we need yeah. to get that we need to get the that set of use cases really well understood. So um, as much as you can stir up in that area is is really important to us. And and this is. Something I touched on, and I did this this one thing, and um, it's called uh, Visions of the Minds Panel. And it's basically, I, I wrote up a loosely a uh, mission statement for us. And part of the, the thing that I say in there is that um, this new model, and it's been bubbling and evolving for a while, but um, where people work and play 
and put in their own time and money to do something, not because there's a potential for profits or rewards or honors, but out of sheer enthusiasm and that, that we as humans uh, love this kind of uh, connection, love to be creative, but we also, uh, we are probably more productive when we play. And I, I forgot, I read an article and it was about a book where it talks about like the, the play principle. And even this, the famous uh, line that uh, if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. And that's right. kind of like this fundamental thing for, for us to be happy. And a lot of us too, we, because of society, and I mentioned this in one of one of our talks, uh, and then I posted it up, and it was with me, anonymity, and have faith. Where we growing up, we thought, oh, we have to do things a certain way. I'll go and uh, get married, have a job and career, go to the nine to five job, and and that just we, so that your kids can end up in the same routine. Yeah. And, and that somewhere along the way, something, and this is where it kind of goes to that awakening kind of principle, something happened to us. And, uh, for instance, in our case, it was it was losing the one, the one that we were supposed to marry and that we're supposed to, you know, have the kids with, and that something happened between that relationship. And so we had, like, heartbreak, and that kind of, like, shook us. And we're like, well, maybe we could kind of explore a little bit more. Maybe, and then you see this a lot, too, with, uh, I'm 30, so in in this kind of generation age, that people are waiting a long time, a lot longer, uh, not to get married, and are are kind of. Um, I remember one time Mark he posted something about um, I forgot exactly what it was, but basically kind of having a gypsy no man uh, lifestyle where they kind of kind of are uh, you know freelance uh, people. You know they develop skills and they get and they work freelance. And kind of to to see the possibilities, and the world's getting smaller, and there's more more things for us to do, and more things that excite us. But it's not that the and I, I always like this one uh, statement by uh, um, Fitrov Copra, and he's and he was talking about quant, quantum physics. He's like, but it, it applies to other things as well. He's like, it's not that uh, the classic Newtonian physics is wrong it's that it's limited it's not that the old model of the the atomic family and going to the nine to five and having the 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 two two and a half kids with the white picket fence is a is a wrong model it's just that it's a limited model that it's not the only model that there's that 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 model should be open and flexible and and that we get really excited with with these possibilities and and when you realize and, and experience, say, these new way of working, these new way of collaborating, and, and having the support of networks and platforms that they're, that they're out there, and it, it's really empowering to uh, the quote-unquote the average person, but I don't think anybody's average. We are all unique and, and weird as anybody else is, but, you know, some well, show it out. Yeah. What were you going to say? Oh, we're seeing, I think what you're talking about is we're seeing a growing population of people of all ages. You said you're yeah. 30, and I'll, yeah. I'm 40. I'm not sure how old John is, but uh, he says he's a little bit older. I'll, I'll let that to him. But we're <laughs> having, a growing segment, <laughs> having a growing segment of our population that, yeah. you know, is uh, commonly referred to as awakening. You know, we're yeah. becoming disenfranchised with the Federal Reserve currency yeah. Fiat, more people are becoming aware of that, you know. I mean, look at all the mainstream media is telling off on the uh, this garbage that they call a presidential election. They're telling you in your face that it's not the popular vote that's yeah. what counts. It's not your vote. My vote is these delegates, you know. Um, the welfare state for corporations is, you know, being blasted in our faces when we see these too big to fail banks being bailed out by us, the taxpayers, and we receive no benefit from it. So, uh, the, and I think that's where Minds excels, is people that are uh, gravitating to these epiphanies or eureka moments are, you know, being able to interface and interact with yeah. each other, and that, you know, and that's the common ground, then the common theme that uh, we seem to be on the, the same, now I lost my train of thought, but you get what I'm saying, right? Well, yeah. Well, I tell you, it's it's about it's about the transformation that's happening mm -hmm. 
in in the in the economy in the way of life of, in America you know you were saying the atomic families changed you know the way of life in America has changed you know it's like you used to have a reasonable chance of you know oh yeah uh, growing up and you know having some, like in the 1950s you yeah, no longer up, lived. you would grow up and you'd have this nice house and and you have a job and then repeat type of thing yeah. And that really, that model has run out of gas. It's like failed. I know. You know, it's like so. It's not at all true that that even if you have a college degree, oh, that yeah. you're going to get out of college and you're going to have a great job and live a better life than your parents. I mean, that's that's the American dream, and 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 it's stalled. And and yeah. so it's like it's looking for a transformation. And you know, we kind of went from the the farmer culture to the manufacturing culture and then we went to the office culture and that's really where it stalled and yeah. and now it's moving I think online and so people are looking for lifestyles online and you know so you look at um, how do you operate online you operate sort of in a, in, in a social framework and that's why we're spending so much time uh, wiring channels together with like Boost Pro and things like this so, mm -hmm. so you can do commerce um, and what you said you know be be paid for your efforts online um, there that's a big mega trend that's 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 happening there's so much energy of people that want to and are willing to put m even more energy online, and if they could get paid for doing it, um, you know, to to help, uh, you know, uh, you know, meet their financial objectives, as as maybe their life is going through some sort of a transformation, you know, the the job that they had they don't have, or you know, something like this, and or it's just um, not even fulfilling anymore. Right. Not yeah. or not even fulfilling, and so now there's these new disruptive business models, yeah. like uh, the Minds panel taking on Charlie Rose, uh, <laughs> and you know literally it is funny to say that, haha. But you know what? It, in 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 five years, you could have bigger viewership than him by far. And and this is the kind of thing that, and we're kind of touching on it, that uh, about the mainstream media and then this whole presidential thing, it's been so surreal. Like, I try... I mean, I watch the news just a little bit and I get... But, like, most of people get their information online. There's uh, uh, alternative uh, news channels, alternative uh, websites and articles, and this is where the majority of the people are getting it and that... Right, us, when's the last time you've seen a yeah. paper, newspaper... Yeah, and it's not even that. It's just because they drop the ball, and they're not giving us substance. They're giving us these these uh, taglines that are fake. I mean, like the presidential race is like a reality show. It's not about anything about policies. Uh, I mean, you just look at it and you're just like, what? How does anybody watch this and takes it seriously? Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, the, the, the whole Socially. mainstream media. Uh, model is in a nosedive. It's, it's, yeah. it's just nosediving, and nobody trusts them, uh, yeah. and c for good reason. And it's and what, so what, you're, what you're seeing is an opportunity for citizen journalism yeah. to emerge. And you know, minds is we don't really have a news focus yet. We have, it's like one of the things that we need to do, mm -hmm. uh, and. You know, but I think Minds is an awesome news platform, which could oh, yeah. easily uh, compete with mainstream news. And I think ultimately we will we will probably dominate that market. I I think so too. And and this is where um, we're still not there yet with our actual group. And I mean, it's just a, a tight knit group, and we're getting more and more people involved. But like I said, um, kind of similar to what you were saying, but on a smaller scale with OFR, and we're taking the lead uh, from you guys, is that we're trying to put down a foundation of how we operate. It's a multimedia, open source, decentralized group of people coming together, and you could, you could. 
like I said, like right now I'm playing the leader, but there is eventually. Um, it's going to be so. Yeah, I want to be a fan and viewer of the show as well. I, I like for instance, there's this organic uh, sh show happening right now. It's it's getting a little slow, but it's it's the Minds female panel, and so Half Faith is heading sure. that up. Yeah, and I. <laughs> And I want to kind of just sit back and and see what happens on that show. Like I I I told because Half Faith like oh I want to do this and this and this is where it's kind of hard because we a lot of us have haven't had this experience of working in such a collective, open, decentralized manner. We're always are kind of like Half Faith came to me to have permission to run her show. I'm like dude, just do it. I mean I'm there to support you, but. Uh, to be honest, I don't want to 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 organize it. I, I think it's better if you organize it. And then from there, she kind of uh, caught fire because, like, even though the, the, her main show hasn't happened, she has uh, spontaneously uh, started two shows herself and what I'm uh, referring to as pop-up shows because uh, I'm a cook and I, I'm in the cooking industry and we have pop-up restaurants where, and I've done this a bunch of times with my friends and cooks, and it comes out of the same, like, it's a microcosm in the kitchen. Like, oh, we work so hard for these big-name people and for these uh, corporations, and we get slighted all the time. I mean, we get crappy pay. Sometimes they chip jip us on overtime. And we're like, dude, we do all the work. That's it. We're just going to start our own pop-up restaurant on this weekend. And we, we all, like, take we schedule our schedules together, and we organize, and we're like, hey, it's like, uh, are you ready for this weekend? I'm, yeah, let's go pop up. Let's go start a restaurant, and we just that do it. That's an awesome idea because I've been 20 years now in the automotive field, you know, spinning uh -huh. a wrench, and yeah. you want to talk about somebody who's really crapped on is the guy that's actually under the hood, hood. Yeah. It, paying for his own tools, paying for his own education. Yep. You know, everybody's relying on uh, me to have the expertise and the knowledge and the tools to do the hardest job. You know, while the tool guy sits back and sneers or the, you know, the service writer glowers because you're taking longer than he expects, yeah. you know, and ultimately it's the customer that suffers. Yeah, that's, so. that's, that's very much my experience being a line cook. Uh, I mean, I buy my own um, knives. I went to, I studied, uh, um, what do you call it, what is it called, classic cuisine, which is French cuisine. Uh, and the same kind of experience. The front of the house is like, oh, why is this food ready? I'm like, dude, you guys have the easiest jobs. Leave me alone. Like, we always like joking with them. <laughs> but it's funny because now they're with, with John's kind of saying is with the internet and these platforms and these tools and and online and the world's getting smaller. That it is very practical. Not only to to say do different things or whatever, but you could you could actually. Uh, um, start start up an uh, enterprise. You could just do it yourself. Um, you could learn s different skills. Like for instance, I'm always and I, I mentioned this story and I think I just posted it or I edited it. I haven't posted it up yet. But I said I'm always kind of like when anybody says, "Oh, we saw your 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 show and it was great." And uh, Jaffe's been saying, "Oh man, man, you did really good job on 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 that that one the last uh, video." that you did is like this and that and uh, and they're like oh everybody's giving me this praise for the videos and I just I said oh thank you and then I kind of have like this smirk on my face I'm like man I have only been really focused on the video editing for three weeks I think this is my fourth week doing it and, <laughs> it just, and it's just me it's just me figuring it out but I mean prior to this I had had some computer like uh, in, in high school, I went to a technical school. I majored in computer science, and I didn't. Well, what happened in computer science is that uh, I was a lot. I was good at uh, thinking about the design of of the program, but when it came down to to writing it, I did all right. But I would get so tired because I would I would always mess up on syntax errors. So I remember one time I was looking at the computer screen and we were doing C plus plus, and I was trying to find a semicolon. Where did I? put an extra semicolon or where did I leave off a semicolon and it just like I was like I don't want to do this anymore <laughs> but what what I really wanted to focus on is what I what I'm doing now is the the graphic side of it was is is 
the uh, uh, now what I'm doing with my video editing, but you know the little memes that I've done and these little images that I've produced and building up websites and I, I'm helping with the my, uh, the pirate radio website and all this kind of stuff is really getting me energized too. It's like I see like you know like you said the possibility of make turning it into something and I know and right now uh, it's for me. It's about getting the structure together and building something that 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 is gonna gonna uh, last, but also to that that is gonna empower people. And also, what part of it is is that I'm mostly focused in on the quality of our work, the the depthness of our talks, of of, of doing what we're doing right now, just having a, a real conversation and seeing the commonalities with everybody. And hopefully inspiring more people to get involved, because that's 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 where it's at for me. Well, that's that's the real deal. I mean, I think I think if um, uh, if if the platform is available where anybody can create their own TV show, which is essentially mm -hmm. what you're doing, yeah, um, then you know people are going to explore like everything. You know, yeah. r right now it's just it's a it's a it's a it's not an open environment. You can't just have a cable channel. I mean, you kind of yeah. can, you kind of can, but not really. Uh, I mean, yeah, with cable. the with the internet, you you literally, and particularly with the net neutrality legislation, anybody, anyone can be. Look, you know, you've got a one level info wars and. Yeah. You know the blaze and you know that kind of stuff starting up, uh, but you know Infowars. I'm not sure what his daily uh, uh, numbers are, but they're it's about big. eight to ten million a day, and with oh, about right. a new uh, uh, new viewers every day, kind of thing. You know, or unique it's, viewers it's, or uh, no, I'm not I can't remember by that. Those are big numbers, and and yeah. and, and and it's and he's using the whole internet, and and if you're you know on on a cable network you're not using the whole internet so um, it's a different way it, it's a very disruptive business model which I think mm -hmm. is, is going to really unwind this cable sort of proprietary uh, monopoly thing going on and it's going to it's going to level the playing field and I do think it's not a joke to say that the Minds panel is on an even playing field with Charlie Rose I mean you, are, you really are you really yeah. are, and you know, the net neutrality regulations ensure that. Yep, yeah. this is this is the interesting times that we're in, and like I said, and I'm so, and this is where, where having you know, the Minds platform I think has helped a lot of us, because I mean prior to Minds, I mean. Uh, I, I'm, I was always working on my writing. I was always reading. I was always uh, um, trying to be creative. But well, and then also too, what we were kind of saying before too is that once we get on minds and we have people that are very similar to us in our in our way that we want to work go about working certain things or the way way we carry ourselves or the way we interact. And this is where the the kind of touches on the comment culture is that we have like this dialogue it's not and and yes sometimes there's trolls and sometimes there's there's a, some um some but it's overwhelmingly more of yeah you have a different perspective than me i have a different uh, perspective from you but but we learn each from each other we, we get this feedback and we 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 get in energized from from being on this kind of even playing field and seeing, getting inspired. We can yeah. and both parties take something positive, positive from it, even if it doesn't change their perspective. perspective. Yeah, and it's and it's amazing to to see that because that's rare in the internet. Like the internet's crazy. Uh, yeah, it's a big game. giant uh, your mama jokes platform. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, I like to have fun, but that that's only in like small amounts. But what are you gonna say, John? I was just gonna. I mean, you know, like we're not anonymous on this, on this, but um, most 
Minds users are anonymous, and yeah. that that is a game changer too for how you interact on a social network. You yeah. know, compared to like Facebook, where you know you have your hundred friends, and uh -huh. and after a while, you know, you kind of get into a mode of the type of stuff that you'll post to your hundred friends, <laughs> which is very different. Like I have a different personality, probably. Uh -huh. on minds than I do on Facebook. And uh, it's just very, very different way of um, interacting with people who you're anonymous to. Yeah. Um, and, um, and, and we had no idea, like, really what that would be like. But I think it's turned, you know, and when the anonymous thing happened, everybody was like, whoa. And we were like, you know, it's really cool because, you know, everybody's at ease with each other. Mm -hmm. And this is part, and like we have different aspects to the Minds Panel Show, and I was actually having this kind of conversation with Half Faith, and we were just, me and her were just talking, and she was saying, oh, I, I want to do this, or I want to do that, and then, um, but she's like, oh, but I don't want to like show my face. I'm like, oh, you don't need to show your face. I'm, I'm like, I'm actually, I actually prefer, and I'm like, I'm not going to make like any rules. But I want to like encourage people not to necessarily show their face. Like we're gonna create images and icons for ourselves, and and eventually we will. Keep our profile up here. Yeah, yeah, and we're gonna like anim animate them. So like for instance, one of the ideas is my little bee shaman guy. I want him to kind of like have a couple of animations where he kind of like turns his head, like if he's listening to someone speak. I wanted to kind of like uh, maybe pulsate or or make it look like he's talking when I'm talking. I, I want him to kind of like move back and forth, kind of even make him look like he's floating, like if he's kind of like a bee. And then we have like a spider's image where it's a it's a spider with a light bulb, and we want it to kind of like radiate every time he speaks. And we have these little different ideas that we want. I want to get out of my mask then. Yeah. We we want to do that for everybody involved, and so we have like, and this is kind of just something that we we've been talking about that there's something freeing about about being anonymous, about being able to kind of just, uh, express yourself, uh, uh, with having no no ties. And I and I and I remember one of the first conversations I ever had with Half Faith was that I had this little crisis because, like I said, I still was finding my my voice on minds. And uh, it was like, and I told her, there's a difference between Satori D and what you were saying, and Daniel. Daniel's different than Satori D. <laughs> and I was like, the big difference is that simply Satori D doesn't give an F about stuff. <laughs> and like, and Daniel is is more concerned about stuff. But in the sense that, like, I don't take anything personal. Like, Satori D doesn't take any comment person, uh, you know, uh, personally. Listen, yeah. No yeah. Like, well, I mean, I can I can absolutely tell you that it's probably a character flaw I have that my Facebook uh, uh, you know range of posts is much narrower <laughs> than my mine's yeah. is. I mean, like I've never dropped an f bomb on Facebook, but I have definitely dropped f bombs on mine. <laughs> Well, you might get kicked off of F book if you use the. <laughs> yeah, and you, you gotta watch out too. But if I dropped an F bomb on my mind's friends, on my Facebook friends, they would be like, "Uh oh." Oh my god, yeah, and that's the same thing too. There's like, because uh, on Facebook, it's a lot of like my relatives that are on there, and my mom's, my my friend. Right, it's, it's a very different. It's thing. different landscape, yeah. and 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 I. I at time, but you got to measure yourself, you know, of how people are only going to hear what they want to hear and only see what they want to see. And if they're not ready to hear some certain things, they're going to take it a totally different way. And then, and and <laughs> unsubscribe. <laughs> yeah. And so that's part of the reason why I'm. Uh, and I still have my Facebook, and I actually hardly use it. But now I'm using it more because I'm promoting our videos on there, and I'm like now getting involved in groups. But it's it's more of me just like simply shamelessly advertising what I'm doing on Minds. Like I even even my profile picture is the Minds uh, logo. <laughs> like it's just it's totally different, but it's true. Like I and sometimes I I kind of self censor myself. Yeah. What are you gonna say? 
it's free advertisement, you know, just yeah. like uh, Infowars was mentioned earlier, and that's one of the things Alex Jones says, you know, that even though they see the uh, the social control being used on Facebook and Twitter and all these other outlets, they're going to go ahead and use those platforms against them. Yeah. You know, because they're just available. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. I think, I think you know, we're... You know, if you were to use the automobile analogy, we're like in the Model T car stage of this thing. You uh-huh. know, it's like Facebook's only an eight-year-old company. You know, yeah. so it, it's like this thing is so in the beginning. Um, so we haven't even imagined, like, some of the things that are going to evolve out of it. But I, I, I think that uh, people are going to spend more and more time online. And and uh, being online is is going to be more and more part of their lives, and and that's why you know you know being able to have minds be so able to be extended into uh, being paid for your efforts online, or uh, you know being able to monetize what you're doing, but at the same time we don't want to turn minds into a uh, you know, giant paywall. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I think you know people will figure out you know what what's the right balance. balance. It kind of reminds me of TV when I grew up, where uh-huh. you know before cable, you had yeah, three channels. TV was free. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You only had three channels, but it was <laughs> but it was free, and but you had to watch commercials. Yeah. Uh, and. Um, you know that was really a better, better way of doing it. It should go back to that. You know, it, it should all be free, and if something's good enough, you know, people will sit through a commercial. Yeah. You know. You know. Yeah, because you gotta go to the bathroom anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> bathroom and, break. You know, and then that's how you guys are gonna be up there with Charlie Rose. Yeah. And uh, we're going to be, and then, see, that's also the thing too, where uh, which I'm most excited about, is that yes, I have my own ideas, and right now, like I said, I'm playing the the role of the leader, and I'm like talking to the guests and organizing things. But eventually, I want to get to a point where I'm intrigued about seeing what other people are going to develop with with the Minds panel. Well, imagine uh, if you could hit the boost. Imagine if you could hit the boost button and boost twenty thousand views. Yeah, <laughs> you know that's as many as Charlie Rose has. Rose, yeah, right. And you just and, push the button and, and you get it. Boop. And then we just get it. And but yeah. it's gonna it's gonna be crazy too. And like I said, like uh, right now, uh, anonymity was talking to me when we first were doing it, and he was like, "Man, we barely started this project, and we already have like input." It's like imagine, like he's like, "Okay," he's comparing it. He's like. Because uh, anonymity has a lot of followers. I think he's in. Like, have you have you thousand. seen the new view counter on the videos? Yeah. 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 So so you know we should, you know we should do some experiments and, and yeah. like you know try to let's see you know like like send something viral and see like how much reach we can get with it. Okay. An experiment. I I am totally uh, ready for that. <laughs> but he was saying about how. Because he's like at six thousand, I have like sixteen hundred followers, and uh, he said, "Man, we barely started the Minds panel, and it's already like, like the growth that it had started from from like first starting from from the baby stage to the next stage is like if it was a seed, like this this seed is growing way faster than than the seed of anonymity. It's like it's and he's like, dude, dude, and I don't even know how long, but pretty soon this is gonna be." One one of the top channels, and I just started laughing. He's like, "I'm I'm serious. I'm serious. This thing's gonna blow up." <laughs> and I'm like, "Well, you know? if, if you're growing the channel that fast, that's really good because the 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 people then, since it's a new channel, you they're all active. Yeah, they're subscribers. subscribers. Yeah, and that's because I know for for instance for me because I've been on for a while. Yeah, so it has anonymity that there's. I would say a good portion, uh, like okay, so I had like sixteen uh, hundred followers. I would say like a lot 
in, in like the hundreds are not active anymore. And um, but uh, but I was well, getting well. There was I, a there was there was you know a lot of people who you know just parked the na their name on a channel yeah. or you know whatever, just checked out the app and yeah. and just bolted. But yeah. the the growth that's happening now is um, is people that are returning. Yeah. Um, okay. You know, and and you know they're they're using the app, and and so we have, um, you know, seen our retention like double, uh, yeah. it, just in the last uh, say month, and so, um, you know, that's really that's really good, and and so I think you I can see that you can see that I yeah. think, just yeah. in, in the news feed that there's a lot of new people and and they're you know Returning. Sort of committed committed to a longer longer term uh, yeah. so that's so that's really good uh, you know and I I think uh, you know everything that we can do to keep that happening is the right thing yeah and this it's been exciting like I said even too we had uh, new users like uh, Alice W she jumped really really quick onto the minds um, oh, she's, she's a fantastic artist I mean yeah I mean, you know, she did a beautiful that that's one of the best minds um, logos. Yeah, I've and seen, I, and I've I, that's in my collection. I hope you check it out. <laughs> yeah, I will. Yeah, and uh, and two, because that's kind of like how it happened. I was like, because, and I can't wait till, and it's already happening where people, and we need to uh, keep on pushing this about. Uh, I hope someday, you know, the weekend. You know, ask her to paint a big one. You know, yeah, <laughs> put, yeah, it that would nice. put it in an office if we office. Get one. <laughs> Because that, I told her, oh, I, I just love that 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 uh, yin and yang uh, light bulb, and I'm like, uh, I want to use it. Even like, I, uh, I asked her, oh, can I use it for? She's like, yeah, use it as much as you want. I was like, because I really like it. I like, I want to use it like as our like closing credits. <laughs> like, hey, you know, it, it, you know, you could help me with the attribution on on some of the ones in in the light bulb. Okay, uh, yeah, too. because if, if you can identify them, uh, uh, yeah, so we can get them properly Apparently. licensed. Yeah, yeah, because that's part of the the thing too that I want to do, and I've been doing it, and uh, we kind of advertised it a little bit that um. We were looking for artwork, and if you have original content, just just tag us. So, for for all you guys that are going to see this video later, um, and you have some artwork that you won't mind us using, um, I already like to thank uh, uh, the the artist Alice W, um, uh, Wasted Talent, and everybody who oh, uh, Cart, uh, Cartman One, everybody who has participated. Um, uh, Avoid Graffiti has also. Um, made it okay for us to use his stuff, but just tag us on your artwork and we'll use it. And um, you know, it's a it's a it's a thing we got to be better at a community yeah. doing is is tagging the art with licenses. Uh, yeah. And and also uh, sometimes you can't do that, but it, if you can at least provide attribution. Yeah. That it's really important. Creative Commons. Yeah, uh, is a wonderful approach, and and we based, uh, you know, a lot on that. And uh, but it's about attribution. I mean, it's it's, yeah. it's it's not it's not like you just, you know, don't co-op you know, somebody else's work. Co-op doesn't yeah. else's work. You you know you, you it's you have to have yeah. attribution, and yeah. and so you know we haven't um, been as aggressive as I think we're going to probably end up getting on. On copyright uh, um, and respect for copyright, uh, but I hope people, you know, get better at that. Yeah, and that's what we do when I edit the shows for the people that give us the permission to use their artwork, is that uh, I put it on the screen and I, and I have it. Sometimes uh, it it depends how it fits, but you know, in the left corner, I put their their their. I mean, we're supporting a, we're supporting such yeah. a community of artists. Um, we have to support them, and yeah. uh, you know, and that's um, that's another thing too that we just recently talked about with Wasted Talent, and we're so glad that he's back because I remember before he left, I think he bought a screen printing uh, t-shirt thing, and he was doing his t-shirt thing, and then um, I was like, man, cause, yeah, 
and uh, Sakatuga Spiders and Sofuego and Techlords. Techlords is going to set up our website for the Minds Panel uh, show. And so it's going to be like mindspanel.com. But on that site, as we develop it, we want to be whoever's involved, if they want to do, like, for instance, we were talking and we, we need to talk to him directly, but Wasted Talent, if he has a, if he wants to keep on doing those t-shirts, we want to help him uh, sell those t-shirts and put up put up a little page on there and set it up with um, whatever he wants I, to I, I bet you, I bet you that he would sell a lot of those. <laughs> yeah. I, I know Corey the other day finally got his t-shirt in, in the mail. And, uh, I mean, everybody loves his work, and, uh, I mean, we should we should support him as much as we can. I mean, those are great shirts. Well, I, think, I, yeah. I think it would be great if, like, like I like I, I always go with, like, you know, a, a Creative Commons share-like license, uh-huh. and, and I think what's a good way to also put that is, is, a, is a link to the um, person's channel. Yeah. Uh, either at name or um, you know minds.com slash satori d uh, you know w- so that so that you're actually sharing the work and 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 bringing traffic to his site and, you know and that, yeah. that's and that's why he wants to share his work and so everybody helps everybody yes and that's and that that's, and, that, and that is so much more powerful than in full copyright. Yeah. It's and that's so much more powerful. And that's exactly what what we keep on wanting to do with the show. And um, like 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 I said that um, when I use their artwork in the background, except for one one I didn't do it the last one because it was kind of like uh, it made more sense in the style that I was doing it, but every time we use the artwork we have their name in the little corner to say, hey, this is who they are, and I'm like, man, why, why are more people uh, on uh, at um, the artist's uh, page? Like, she should have way more viewers than me because uh, her work is amazing. I mean, I love going over there and seeing her artwork. But uh, well, imagine how many people that are maybe listening to the show today yeah. and hearing these artists, you know, repeatedly, and are going to go and check out check out these. Check no, out and their I would, page. Yeah, anybody that's mentioned on here, that's what I would say is, you know, go go look at the artwork that these people that are being mentioned are producing. You know, support yeah. them. Support them. And um, see, that's where um, I want to too, and I've been talking to them, and it, it's a slow process, and we all have different schedules, and everybody's busy, but I, I want to have them... Like we already have had wasted talent on the show. He was one of the first kind of guests, uh, but he's he's gonna probably start playing a more intricate part of of the show. Um, like I said, we're having the imagine uh, for a 24 hour Imaginarium team. We're gonna have them come on and kind of like broadcast them because um, they're barely starting, but they they seem like they there's good. Ma- I know the people that are working on that, and they're good. Um, artists and visionaries, poets and thinkers, and um, so, and you know, this is all. It is so funny because we we talked about this too. That we have like this group that I'm I'm a part of, and you guys are a part of of our followers, our our circle, our circles around circles of of people that are really really uh, great people. They're really talented in all different ways, and we all kind of like help inspire each other and this is how we got to the point that we are right now as a Minds Panel show is because of all those people and all of their their work and how we have this feedback but um, it's going to be interesting as we move forward with the show and getting them in because I want I want them to be on the panel like I want I want them not necessarily to develop it but I want to have a whole segment which is about art and art in all different forms, meaning music, poetry, uh, visual art, um, anything. I, I mean, animation. I like. I use. And uh, once so Fuego has some time, I want to. Uh, hopefully, he gets inspired and starts doing more of his animations because I, I love his little, his little take on stuff uh, with the whole uh, uh, 
Reynard, uh, Descartes. Uh, I think, therefore, I'm on Minds. And then, uh, <laughs> and, and then the Twitter one. Good. Yeah. And then, uh, so hopefully we'll get him developing more. And then also, too, that's part of it is that we have all these people with skills and technical knowledge. And so Fuego's been doing what he can, but he's been great as far as he's made this PDF file for for us to get different audio streams. This is how um, he helped me start because, like, um, not only that we're broadcasting on on uh, live streaming through YouTube and and this, but I'm I'm collecting my own audio feed and I have it split, so I have like my audio feed different than than your guys' audio feeds. But like when we go and edit, it's it's a little bit cleaner and a little bit better. But all these like little finesse technical stuff that I'm learning from Sofuego, that we want we're gonna have instructional videos on this kind of stuff, instructional videos of how to use Gitbook, instructional videos on how to use our channel, how to use Groove, and we have PDF files on practical little little tips for people to, to do these kind of stuff on getting good audio feed, um, recording, um, video editing, and, and all these practical skills that get people started. And hopefully, too, another part of it is what we are kind of talking about a little bit earlier is the whole like monetizing system, but also to um, trying to get, and this is why we're going to have a big show on cryptocurrency, and we're going to try to to hopefully continue on with with that, make that like an ongoing segment. I don't know how, like it won't be every week, but maybe every other week, and that we kind of get people aware of different possibilities, and but also to give them tips so like they're kind of safe in their endeavors of doing that, that they do it wisely and smart. They do it with um, reputable places. And that's why I'm glad that um, Tech Lords, who's, who's been an amazing resource, even though he's been kind of more behind the scenes with us, but he's done our opening credit um, animations. If you've seen those, like the Minds Panel Presents. Did he uh, do those? Those are beautiful. Yeah, Tech Lords did those. And he did those fast. <laughs> like, he was the first one. And like, I remember I, I had him on. And it was not really a show that we like broadcast, but it's just one of our back room. You know, uh, you know, it's a, yeah. it's a, it's a. You guys are like, you like the first networks <laughs> that are being yeah. created, that are being created. And uh, you know, gosh, there's so much that uh, you know you could do. You, I mean, yeah. the news channels and all kinds of things. So you know, whatever we can do to help, um, you know, I'm yeah. grateful for. Uh, all the energy you guys have put into it. Yeah, it's been so much fun. But um, and like I said, we and we want to continue this on, and we're going to continue this discussion um, with you, John, and with everybody, everybody out there in the Minds community. We're going to keep on pushing. We're going to keep on being innovative, and then that's just part of it too. Like we're being flexible. And we're we're learning from each other, and and that's the thing with the with the internet, uh, with the the digital landscape. Like anybody could, with a little bit of creativity, with a lot of hard work, and with a couple help of the friends, could start and make, like you said, uh, a t like a, a cable show, like a, you know, a adult TV network. If they really wanted to, like the tools are out there. Like I'm using Lightworks, which is a free edition of, of uh, a video editor. And I mean, later on, especially too as we get moving forward, but we still, as a group, have to decide what what exact video editor we're going to use. So it's easier for us to to um, collaborate and work together because we're we're already thinking of like, oh, in the future and the near future, if we get more video editors, like. We're going to, say if we're all available on Sunday, we're going to sit down for a hard three hours or four hours and produce, like, a whole show. Like, say if this this interview, we're going to make a good, hard uh, hour show with all sorts of visuals, all sorts of music and, and supporting information, and we're going to broadcast that out. And that, so we all have to be on the same page with, with what, what, what programs we're using. But that's what we're testing out right now. Like, like we said, we found this new open source um, video conference um, platform that we need to test out and see how it works. And then um, we actually had the conversation with Bill a little bit about it. Um, not not this platform, but just the possibility of something like that. And then once 
we test it out. We want to get Bill in there and say, "Hey, look at check this place out," and then just, just talk to him and and like he's we had we had fun with him when we, we had him on the panel uh, show and we had everybody chime in and just talk. It was it was a good time that we had. I, I mean, every everything that uh, you guys are doing. Um, you know, uh, it should be easier. I think we should make it easier for you guys to, uh, you know, accomplish this without having to, you know, do so much integration work on your own. Um, yeah. You know, I think groups is is really? the plat- that's the platform, and yeah. and so from there, we'll start building on more work group or whatever type of group. Functionalities like live comments, yeah, and um, you know, video. Uh, you know, we could. You know, we're, we're discussing that. Um, I think. I think we'll wait a little bit for some of the um, uh, technology to develop, uh-huh. before we did something like that. But um, you know, the groups platform, I think, is the right platform. Yeah, and and if you guys, uh, we are definitely using that. I mean, push it to the limits and help us build. You know what features in it that you think are necessary That's because um, being able to build your community very very fast is very possible. Yeah, uh, and um, uh, you know the the video tools, everything's there. Yeah, uh, you know it, it except for you know the the hangout function. Yeah, um, and, I'm happy and, to be able to upload a six-minute video using just the mobile app. Yeah. <laughs> and, good, good luck. <laughs> no, I, but that's that, that's the limit, right? Yeah, yeah, I put a just as a test drive, put three or two or three of them up there, and uh, it was really use, easy to do. I didn't have any problems with it on the interface side and. You know, I've gotten good feedback from uh, everybody that's seen them. Yeah. Well, good. the 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 video environment, it's you know, that's still that's another one of the alpha areas. Um, uh-huh. um, you know, we, we it's a really great HTML5 architecture, and it, and it we're using this transcoding service that's so super scalable. So, performance-wise, it's it's a beast. But what we haven't done is built it out. Um, you know, with 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 all the features it needs, features, yeah. and, you know, like playlists, and you know, everybody was talking about you know getting music on there and being able to have playlists is so important. So, you know, we we've got it, we've got it. So we the alpha for video was really just to get the basic uh, capabilities of playing and transcoding videos and. Um, so that we didn't have to use YouTube and stuff. Yeah. Uh, and it's a ne- the next thing is is really to take that whole video environment and try to make it worthy of being a YouTube competitor. Yeah. And, and I, um, that's kind of what our next step is. And one thing I will say um, about about the kind of video and stuff like that is that uh. Um, I have already noticed this, and then we kind of talked with with Bill about this. But um, it's amazing that w- even though um, Minds is a kind of a small social network compared to all the other social networks, but right now the reach and feedback and and views that I could get on Minds doing my videos versus YouTube is is night and day. I mean, I, I've done this experiment plenty of times where I post something on Minds and I, and, I, and I look at it and I wait and then I get instantly 100 views, probably like three or four reminds, uh, depending on what, how big or how long that my video is, uh, 20 to 40 likes. And then I put it on YouTube and I've been on YouTube for a while. Oh, it takes about a week for me to get up to like 40 views and five likes and like uh, it's so it's so, it's so well I think I, th- I think the reach um, model that we have I mean Instagram has gone to filtered reach model Twitter's gone to filtered reach model so 
you know, we're we're the only open reach social platform there is. Mm -hmm. And you know, the fact that at you know a few million users, we have approximately the same reach as Facebook does, is ridiculous. Yeah, I mean that's ridiculous. Imagine when we get scaled out, our reach yeah. could be for It'd be crazy for for. for <laughs> For this, for this and, show, and then yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna topple with Charlie Rose. <laughs> you can have like millions of people, yeah. for more yeah. people figure out you know, they're not able to reach the amount of people that they would like because of the algorithms that are in place. Yeah. In place of, well, it's it. I mean, it, it's a different philosophy. Yeah, and um, and they're doing it to maximize uh, their uh, advertising yeah. revenue and. You're and, just not going to go down that, that road. And, and that's that's like the old kind of business model where you create scarcity where there isn't scarcity so you could right. value something more. Yeah, and, it's yeah, and they just, take it off the backs of the yeah, users. Just, yeah. They're not taking it off their own backs. They're taking it off the backs <laughs> of the users. And so you know that should be why you come to Minds. Minds, yeah. Yeah. And I think, too, that's actually one of the first – put together um, videos that I did with my video editing is um, is exactly doing that point. I forgot what I titled it, but I think you saw it and I had a, uh, it ended with a, uh, uh, um, what's his name? Uh, uh, John, uh, uh, John, uh, Perry Barlow. Uh, yeah, John Perry Barlow. And where he's talking about doing a, um, it's it's not the one where he the internet bill of rights. Yeah, but it's it's not it's not the one where he's speaking. But I, I use a clip from him when he's on Discovery. But uh, so basically, it's set up to say that uh, uh, actually, yeah, it it I started off with John Oliver, and he has a segment about how Facebook security is kind of like a joke, and like you know you or like the privacy where there's this thing that goes around Facebook. Oh, if you if you post this post, that means uh, your information can't be used by Facebook, but that doesn't mean anything. It's nothing. Oh, right. I mean, yeah. Like, all your contact. Facebook, all the content yeah, that's posted. All, they own all your content. You're working for them, and they're making money off of all your efforts on there. <laughs> and how much of a joke that, that, that thing is. And then, then I ended it with... with John uh, Perry Barlow talking about how we're in the, the you know the digital frontier and that that it's uh, you know open for us that that their old way of thinking doesn't apply to his this is like the new house of mind and stuff like that. Well, I mean, if you believe if you believe there's this transformation happening and you know people's lives are changing and they're uh, working in different ways now and it's it's moving online. Uh, you know, then uh, internet freedom is going to be a great way to usher in, um, you know, that new transformation and help people be successful online. People. Uh huh. Yeah. Can I speak to something on that? Because what you're saying about yeah. this internet freedom, um, and it's something I've, I've, in an email to Satori, I believe it went back to him. Uh, yeah. With this, this hubbub you're hearing about the encryption, I know it's a bit off topic, but with the encryption, uh, you know, the FBI wanting to get into that San Bernardino terrorist uh, iPhone, blah, 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 that uh, Mines offers that end-to-end uh, -end encrypted chat. Now, if the government has their way in trying to work a back door and all to, into uh, everybody's encryption, you know, is that going to change the uh, model that Mines follows? Well, I think it would be wrong to assume that the government cannot get into mines uh, today, uh, or or whoever it is. I mean, th their their capabilities are enormous, uh, and I think you have to build big internet systems today, expecting to be penetrated. Um, and so uh, that's point number one. And you know, if if could they get in? I think you should assume that they can. I do, but I'm, what I'm saying is, is you know, do you think that uh, more and more people 
are going to um, expect encryption and it's expect it to work. You know, I, I believe that there's a lot of people that are here on Minds that are of the technical aptitude to improve those kind of systems or help each other uh, to, you know, because I'm not real technical savvy, so I, you know, I've only got a, a base understanding of, you know, encryption and t uh, cryptocurrency and things of that nature, but, you know, just for people to, as part of their, as you said, you know, Internet right, uh, Bill of Rights, you uh -huh. know, privacy being a paramount amongst them, you know, to, uh, you know, enable and encourage people, you know, to share information or what have you, you know. Um, well, it's, be a, lot of, a lot of it is how you use information. And, you know, a, again, it's like we can't at Minds even control uh, the ability of somebody to surveil what's going on in Minds. Uh, I mean, it goes so deep is to being able to turn people's phones on when they don't know it. You right. know, so uh, you have to assume that everything that's going on online is available to somebody who wants to find that information hard enough. Now, what you can do is you can put um, countermeasures in place to make it extremely difficult. Uh, and, and you can put a legal framework in place to protect yourself legally, but I think everybody should operate under the assumption that the the concept of private information on the internet is is almost uh, not achievable. Right. When the FBI, the director of the FBI admits that he puts tape over his own webcam, right, and it shows you the state of things. Yeah, that's exactly the point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. So I mean, you know, so what we've done with encryption is is we first of all we've we've asked ourselves, okay, what is really sensitive information? And sensitive information for us is your email address uh, and um, that's our private chats and your private chat information. Those are the only two things on minds that we classify as sensitive information. And so we encrypt those. And in the case of the uh, chat, uh, the um, uh, keys are held by each one of you on your own phone. And we don't have those keys. So if we were asked to produce that information, we would not be able to. Well, okay, so all right. Like I said, I've got a very base working knowledge of all that. Yeah, yeah we so physically I, we physically yeah. are unable to respond to that request. Yeah. And you know what? For the for the FBI to like you know beat us up on that is ridiculous. When they just cracked into an iPhone, you know. So, <laughs> you know, if they want what's in there, do we have the most powerful encryption that's ever been created by man? No. Because we're shipping it over, uh, you know, a cell network, right. you know, but it's powerful encryption. Uh, could the could the right people break it? Probably, you know. Well, I don't believe the government would allow any product that would they would not be able to get into on the market anyway. That's also possible. That that there's that's also true. There's import and export controls and things like this. So um, exactly. So the point is that you have to assume that if you're doing whatever you're doing online, that it's vulnerable to being exposed. But you can have a legal framework that you stayed within in order to protect yourself legally, and you can make it as difficult as you can. And you can set policies as to set more sensible policies as to what really is sensitive data. Right. Um, you know, so if you make a post on Minds, that's open data. Minds is an open network, and you know that's really important for the culture of Minds. You know that everybody knows that whatever they say is they're saying it in the open. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, and this that is, has its own effect on governing what people say. Right. Well, personally, you know, 
I take the viewpoint or I make the proclamation that I'm an anarchist and a lot of the things that I write, you know, are anti-government and anti-establishment, you know, and I post it expecting the government to see it so that they'll know where I stand. I'm not afraid of that, but I know that there are people that are concerned, you know, and what have you. So, you know, and this is something that, uh, you know, appreciating that, that the feature for encrypted chat is there and seeing the nonsense in the news is the reason I, I brought it up. Well, the, 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 the bottom line on all of that is, um, I think, one of the most important, if not the most important feature of Minds, is that it's an anonymous network. Right. So no matter what is posted on your channel and who they may or may not think you are, that channel is anonymous, and they can't. Uh, there's no way that anybody, you know. Well, I suppose, you know, metadata searching and all kinds of things. You you could probably narrow people down, but there's n there's no there's no data from mines that is going to allow a legal from a legal perspective uh, to to say that. This is who said that. So it doesn't even matter that it's encrypted when it's anonymous. Yeah, because it would be hard to trace it back. Like it's I mean, the fact that it's encrypted means that you won't know what happened, what they actually did say. But if it's anonymous and if you can't attribute it to somebody, then it has no, no it has no value. Yeah. So you could say the FBI could say. Oh, this is the guy's Facebook account. But you say this is his Minds account. It's like, well, what does that mean? Right. It could be anyone's Minds account. Minds account, yeah. So being anonymous is so – that is a cornerstone of John Perry Barlow's um, yeah. uh, Internet um, Bill of Rights, the right – to be anonymous, it, and so that I think is the most powerful feature for for privacy that we have. Uh, it's it's not the encryption. It just adds an extra layer of protection beyond that. It's all. Yeah, and it, what's I think ironic is so many other websites, you know, think that you know you need to have people's true identity in order to successfully market to them, but I actually think that's not true. Yeah, that's that's the whole thing with Facebook, right? Where they want, and then I think, uh, what do you call it? Where they they ask for your your real information. Yeah, yes, the real ID policy. I I, I could tell you if if I wanted to know something about organic farming and Travis Lee told me uh, what to do, that's what I would do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? He, you know, that that you know, or River Rose. You know, these these people, yeah. these people, you know, you know, I trust them. Yeah. And so if they told me to go buy a rake, I would buy that rake. Right. Yeah. So I don't think you need to be like, you know, you're, you're, you, can, you can be anonymous. Right. Yeah. And still be a great reference. And it's and that's the whole thing where what we're doing here is like we're building. We're, and this is what I kind of have told people too. This is like, uh, you know how. In Facebook and all these other places, they talk about social networking, but this is kind of like artificial, passive social networking. This is like, like honest. Like I, we have real dialogues with people. We have like, we see their posts, and then we have this back and forth. And most of the time, like if you like their information, you you, you leave a comment, and you get a comment right back, and and you, so you have a real network with them you have a real social you're being really social with them and you have this like kind of relationship with them and it was so funny because everybody was like um about me and actually she's in the room right now but she muted her mic i don't know if she's still here at half faith but we oh, yeah, we talked here <laughs> yeah me oh, there you hi, go hi half faith what's going on hi <laughs> so me and half faith talk uh very frequently like not a, like like Maybe like a couple of lines almost every day, like "Hey, what's up?" or "Oh, I can't believe this happened to me today," or "Oh, uh, asking questions like 'Oh, I, or, or like 'Oh, what's going on with your poetry' or whatever." 
we just we just chat constantly with each other. So when we did our show, we had this real. We only talked once prior to the show, and but when we when we started the show, we had this real natural chemistry with with each other, because we have, we have that rapport built. Yeah, we already have a rapport and we have a relationship with each other. So it was so easy to get get in and have a panel show and start talking. And it was, it was. Uh, I think that was one of our best episodes. It was the half faith, me, and anonymity, and I, I labeled it everything under the sun. And it was just, yeah. it was just fun because we, that's what we did. That's all we talked about was like just different things, anything that popped up to our minds. But uh, that shows you how beneficial that the comment culture can be. Yeah. Because it's no longer just you know everybody flipping memes between one it another. Is. Well, everybody's honest and uh, straightforward uh-huh. too. People yeah. say, particularly when, when, when and the, and more so when you're anonymous. Yes. I think when you're anonymous, you tend to say more what you really want to say. Yeah. Which I which mean, which makes everything more acceptable to everyone. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> tolerance is greater. Greater, yeah. Yeah, it's like you have a bigger aperture of acceptance on on your comment because you're anonymous. Yeah, and it's it's just so interesting, and and we're. We're barely I scratching the surface of this thing. I mean we're it's gonna be crazy how we develop and we're already seeing the development and it's gonna be really interesting as we move forward and we keep this dialogue going on between between you guys and us and then also to how the show takes on its different forms. It's gonna be fun. Hey, have well, faith. I, I yeah. appreciate you guys. Um, yeah, go ahead. Uh, how's the how's your show going? Have you had any Groundwork on your um, female panel? <laughs> I haven't really had any contact anymore, actually. Oh, okay. It's kind Gotta of make hard another post. to um, have contact. Get everybody together, huh? Yeah. Yeah. But it will happen. It will happen. But, um... Hopefully. So <laughs> is there anything anybody need, wants to bring up? Like, you need to publish your, uh, your, your uh, you know, your, your billboard schedule. Yeah. Uh, that's actually something me and um, Corey or, or Sofuego are, are working on, is that we, and I forgot what program he was using with his work, but we, we're going to uh, get a calendar, and we're going to get everybody to, we have a static calendar on the Git book, but uh, not everybody has put up their availability on there, but hopefully with this. familiar with that yeah. Git yeah, it's yeah. a little tough, but it. I mean, I like it. I like the Git book. But it's funny because uh, you. Um, I didn't even know you could leave. Com- well, I guess I knew there was comments, but I barely found out about that, oh, the, the comment discussion. section. Yeah, the comment sections in a different portion of it. <laughs> and I saw That's you. How to use? Oh yeah. <laughs> you haven't have because there's a there's a big button that says to read and then there's a smaller button for editing. The problem is the the editing button is like the same almost the same color as the background. So it looks Oh yeah. Yeah, uh, it I, blends in. I mean it would look really hard. Uh, Daniel actually had to told me uh, tell me where it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, "What? Well, I don't I don't see it. Where is it?" <laughs> yeah. It blends in. But I mean, we already have the our git book pretty big. We have I don't know, like nine different chapters. Our questions and topics are like crazy big because of Jessica. She's she she. I asked her for questions and she gave me like two pages uh, of questions <laughs> in my email. I was like raging from everything. So that's like our grab bag of questions. They're like all sorts of funny questions. Maybe that would be a good idea for a Minds panel show is just to uh, go on air and run through the Q and A that's been yeah. left. Together. <laughs> I, I, that would take. That would be a crazy long show too. I think somehow maybe I'll do it or whoever, and we just like randomize it, like pick it out of the hat and see what right. pops up. Yeah. We'll do all <laughs> the prime number questions today. Yeah, <laughs> that would be funny. But there's some interesting stuff on there. We've been doing pretty good though. Um, so. It, Right now, I mean, we already been just freeform talking, but uh, is there any like any topic that anybody kind of wants to bring up real quick, and then maybe we should start wrapping up the show? 
but we could keep on talking. I mean, I'm, I'm good. How about you, John? How's your time? Uh, <laughs> users. Well, we've we've been we've been we've been going for a while here, so yeah. So let's let's wrap it up for John. Um, any last questions? Anything? Um, no, I just want to say thank you. Yeah, it's been really fun to have you on. That's why I wanted you on, John. <laughs> well, it's my pleasure, and I'm sorry I couldn't uh, meet the uh, on the other show. But um, you know, I really wish you guys luck, and I really appreciate um, the energy. And you know, I ho- I I hope you guys, uh, you know. Uh, will will include us on the Charlie Rose uh, <laughs> when, you, when, you, when you when you take him take him out. <laughs> yeah, you know what's funny is is uh, my last name, and I don't care. I, I, I'm I'm semi anonymous, but Della Rosa, so I, I am of the Rose, so I could take on Charlie Rose. Yeah. <laughs> you, just, you just take him. It's a pure ratings game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I have Charlie Rose. I like watching this. All right. Gr- thanks a lot, you guys. Okay. Thanks, Bye. John. All right. Have a good day. Okay. So that was that part of it. Did you guys want to talk about anything about uh, Minds Panel? Any future projects you guys want to work on? Anything? 